saving your individual work and your team's work is very important. So let's take a look at the versioning tools that are available to you in Atomsphere. We said that source control is done in Atomsphere, and so maybe your next question might be then, how should we handle versioning? Well, that is a great question. It's important to understand that each component has its own independent revision history. So each and every time you save a change to a component, any component, a revision number is incremented along with who made the save. So if you need to restore or roll back to a previous revision, you can do so by selecting a previous revision. Simply make sure other processes or components are not relying on that most recent version. And keep in mind that restoring a revision does not delete any other component. So when rolling back, it may be useful to use the show where used feature within Component Explorer to have a better understanding of where the component is being referenced and before restoring a revision. To view the revision history, click on the revision history button in the lower right hand corner of all components as displayed here. You can see in the example there are multiple revisions of this component and by selecting each one further information is displayed to show who made the changes and when they were saved. To open that revision of the component, simply click the icon. When you open an older revision, you will see a yellow banner reminding you that it is not the latest revision. And if you save, you will save this revision over the last one, thereby making this one the head revision. So here are a few helpful ideas to consider. Remember that a process is a component. It is independent of the other components that it references. So essentially, restoring a revision of a process component is like restoring the process canvas only. It will reference the most current subcomponents. So you can't roll back an entire process, including all dependencies, to a single point in time simply by rolling back the canvas because each component is independent. But what if you, that is exactly what you want to do? Well, you can achieve this effect by taking snapshots at your desired points and then deploying the process. So deployment is the version of a process, the canvas and subcomponents all included together, and it can be used to restore a process to a prior working version. This is where deploying to an environment that has no atom attached can prove to be a helpful resource by creating a backup version of your process should you ever need to use them while not impacting licensing since no atom is attached to the environment. To restore from a deployed process, go to the Deploy tab. Select the process deployment version that you want, click on the Action gear, and then choose Copy to Component Explorer. It's best to create a new folder for this restore to avoid any confusion since you will likely have a process of the same name. After clicking Copy to Component Explorer, you will be shown a screen where you can select the destination folder where you want the deployed process copied and select which specific components to copy. Copy part or all of a deployed process back to the canvas. Now something to consider here is that a new component is created for each object that's copied into Component Explorer. So it's likely that you will not want to duplicate connections since that would impact licensing upon redeployment, but everything else would be helpful to copy and it will be marked as revision number one.